Beatles have a tendency to steal the show. It's not their fault. Their magnificent colors and mandibles can't help but impress. Names like the Stag Beetle, Tiger Beetle, and Ironclad Beetle pique our interest. But how do we catch these spectacles of the insect world? Sung Jo was at our recent terrestrial bioblitz on Calvert Island. He and fellow entomologist Chris Ernst show us how they managed to bag elusive carrion beetles. I love what I do. Um, look at my hands, they are like bites everywhere, my face is like red, I'm like bleeding everywhere. But like, I love this kind of job. Known for its recognizable Charlie Brown t-shirt stripe, carrion beetles get their name from their preferred food source, dead organisms. The beetles are attracted to hydrogen sulfide, which is released into the air as dead animals decompose. Carrion beetles are also known for their pungent odor. The carrion be beetle is really beautiful. Um, they have big mandibles, they have big eyes, um, but they, they smell bad. Um, they, uh, the smell is kind of their um, defense mechanism. To catch a carrion beetle, both entomologists have strung up traps baited with raw chicken and surrounded by antifreeze, which acts as a preservative. And if the bugs themselves smell bad, the traps smell worse after three days of fermentation. The smells don't bother me at all, because um, what's in there uh, excites me. It's been a successful mission. This one trap has turned up an impressive haul of seven carrion beetles. But not every trap is such a success. Earlier this week, Sung set up water traps in a nearby pond baited with tuna meat to catch another group of insects, the diving beetles. His first round of traps caught a whopping 30 diving beetles from nine different species. But these latest traps have turned up nada. Not every day is successful. Um, sometimes I come home like empty-handed, uh, but like some days I get lucky or like it's a good day, I get like full virus full of beetles. Even if some of them stink. 